Hello friends, welcome back to Inspirebox. My AWS trial account got suspended because I was having few left bills inside my account and I didn't pay it out on time. So be cautious about that. If you are having few bills in your account, in your trial account and you are not going to pay it out on time, then your account will got suspended and you will be in problem. So how actually this works? If you are using a free trial account, then how you are going to get charged? I will let you know in this video and I also let you know if you pay out all the outstanding bills and still your AWS account not get activated, not get reinstated on time, what you need to do. So let's go ahead and dig it out. But before that, let me give you few more details about your billing section. If you are going to use more than one resource, either it would be T2 Micro or any other free services, then you are going to be charged according to that and you will be billed for those services. And same was happened with my account. I utilized more than one free resource which was falling inside my free tier account and because of that I got charged. If I go to bills and if I show my previous bills, then you can see I got $3.11 charged for November and in October I got charged for $1.142. So how exactly these charges came from? So if you go to Elastic Compute Cloud, you will find I utilized more than one T2 micro instance. So first one is free fall under the free tier for 750 hours and there is no charge but second t2 micro instance got charged at the rate of dollar 0.0124 per hour on on demand pricing and for the 738.331 hours i got 9.16 dollar charged and there are few charges for other services like key management because of that, I got billed in that month $11.42. So be cautious about that. If you are going to utilize more than one free resources in your free tier account, then you will be get charged at the rate of on-demand pricing. Now let's jump to the next section. If you pay out all the outstanding bills, but your account is still not get reinstated, not get activated, what you need to do? Although it says that within 24 hours of payments of all the outstanding bills your account will get reinstated but many times it didn't happen i paid 10 days back all the outstanding bills i waited i checked twice thrice and yesterday itself i checked it out but when i find that it didn't get reinstated it didn't get activated from suspended then I raise a case with the AWS. You can see this is the case ID. Account not activated after all bills payment. So the status right now is resolved. And this is the response from AWS side. And hello, I understand you have paid all the outstanding bills on your account. However, the account has not been activated. I have gone ahead and reinstate your account for you kindly allow up to 30 minutes for account and services to fully activate it so now my free tier account is fully activated if i go to ec2 section and check out my compute resources i am able to find all the resources there is no running resources and there seems no instance so there are instance right now in i am not virginia but my resources are in AP South. You need to go to AP South. Here is the AP South one. And I would be able to find my two resources. One is the Jenkins server and one is the app server I was working on. So these are the resources currently in stopped state. And here is one more interesting thing. Although these instances are in stopped state, but I will be still get charged for this storage. So 
the kind of storage I am utilizing will be get charged. There is no link to the stop state of this EC2 instance. So although your resources are in stop state, but you will be able to see few bills, few amounts on your billing section because of these resources like EC2 other resources, the elastic volume, the elastic IP and other things. So be cautious about that. It didn't mean that if you have stopped the resources then you would not be charged. So in order to avoid billings it would be a good practice for you to delete all the resources and don't left anything inside your account otherwise you will be get charged. I have seen sometimes people left the resources inside their account in a stopped state and they got charged and they questioned later on that how it is possible how I will be charged and what kind of charge I am getting. So don't worry about this if you are getting charged you can raise a case with the AWS and they will clear you out and you can also go to the billing section and from there you can browse to the various available resources and it will let you know for which resource you got charged. So make a good practice of terminating all the resources after doing practice to avoid such billings from AWS side and getting into any kind of hitch. So this was all from my side and if you are having any kind of trouble in accessing your free trial account because of the billing, first you need to pay out all the bills and wait for reinstate of your account. After that, if it still didn't get restored, you need to contact to AWS support. They will help you out in restating your account. And most important is that after doing practice, please make a practice of deleting all the resources be cautious about what resources are running be cautious about the termination of the resources so that you can be avoid any kind of charging from aws side end